Lee, you've kindly invited us to Boeing's UK facility. Quite an exciting time for Starag. Now, the last time I saw these machines, the X-Range, they were at Chemnitz at the factory being commissioned, I believe, to actually leave for the UK. Tell us a little bit about the journey. Well, you're right. We're studying Boeing's new UK facility. These machines have been installed only this week. So on, uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, we've brought the two machines in and then followed by the third and they're now positioned and we're, we're starting to level the machines. Lee, I'm quite fascinated because with the FMS system that you got behind the machines, how do you actually set the machines up? Well, in this case, Mark, because we've got multiple machines against an FMS system, it's really important that everything's in line. We're just installing a standalone machine. We can just put some holes in the floor and bolt the machine down. But in this case, we use a, a specialist UK company who comes in and laser marks the datums, laser marks the alignment between the FMS and the machines. So before we really came to site, we had companies, subcontractors in, and the site was prepared, fixators were in, and datums were in so that we could start and we knew everything would be in the right place. And I understand these machines have actually just been positioned today. Yeah, what, what happened was Fast Stems came in initially to start to build the, the, the racking system and then um, we've been working very closely with the contractors here. As soon as the concrete was ready outside to accept the wagons and the weight that we were delivering, we installed the machines in. So we've now got parallel teams working together so that we can hit the, uh, the necessary delivery deadlines that we've, uh, we've contracted to. And the fourth machine, is the reason that's not here yet just purely to get these in position? The fourth machine is going to be installed slightly later, so the initial fix is that the fast stem system is going to be completed and integrated into three machines, then the fourth, and then there's also space then for another two machines should they be required. Sometimes, Lee, it's not easy to get these type of machines in when you've got a, a small entry as we see over there. What's been that sort of journey, or do you actually use other contractors for that? We have, a, we have a team of very good contractors in the UK, Mark. So as I said earlier, we, we, we prefix the ground first and then we have specialist um, lifting companies that transport the machines from Germany, then we offload, then we either crane in, skate in or do whatever we need to do to get the machines into, uh, into the necessary positions.